This video is going to be about pond pumps. In my experience, trying to buy a certain pond pump on the internet. It doesn't have a happy ending yet, but I want this video to serve as a warning to anyone out there who is looking for pond pumps for a koi pond or fish pond or farm pond or whatever you want a pond pump for. Now, the pump in question is this one here. This is a Super Falls KJ11000. I bought this one seven, eight years ago, and it has been running continuously in my koi pond since that time. Very, very happy with it. But it's getting a little bit noisy. I can hear it running now. And I decided that I wanted to get a new one. A new pump exactly like this, because this has lasted a long time. So my birthday rolled around not too long ago, and my wife asked me, uh, Hey, uh, Mr. Chiggles, what would you like for your birthday? And I said to her, why, I would like a brand new pond pump, a Super Falls KJ11000. These aren't cheap. This is like $650, okay? And I wanted to make sure I was buying a quality pump. So she goes online, Googles the... Um, Trademark name, Super Falls. Again, that's a federally registered trademark name. It's protected by the federal government, which is kind of important for what you're going to see next. And uh, the model number. So she Googles that, finds, uh, I think, three or four places that are selling these pumps, and she buys the cheapest one, which is still like over $600. Comes in, she wraps it up, gives it to me on my birthday. Now it came in a plain cardboard box, which I'm going to show you. Filled with styrofoam peanuts, which I hate, and probably you do too. Because, you know, when you reach down and pull a pump out, of course, peanuts go everywhere. So, anyway, I reach into this box, I pull up this pump, and I immediately know, without a doubt, it is not a Super Falls KJ11000. It looks nothing like this has stickers on it saying it is, and that's where this story gets interesting. Everything I'm about to say, I can back up with various emails back and forth through different companies. Now, the reason I have two pumps is because I thought I was buying the second one from a different person, which turns out to be the same company my wife got the first one from using a different name. So this video is not about me trying to get my money back. Let's make that clear. I paid for one with a credit card. My wife paid for one with PayPal. So I'm pretty certain we'll get our money back with no problem. I will provide links in the video description directly to the pages where these things are advertised. And if when you click on those links, if they're no longer there, well, use your own judgment in that respect. So, let's get to it. I'm going to show you the pumps and why you need to be careful if you want one of them. By the way, these are really rated like number one in the industry for uh, ponds. Top rated pumps. All the websites that are selling these right now say that. <laughs> Just listen. So let's go ahead and take a look at each of the three pumps. The first one we're going to look at is the one I bought seven years ago from the uh, Super Falls manufacturer directly from them. And I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like. It comes in this box. It's advertised as coming in this box. And this is how it was shipped to me. Yes, this box is seven years old. Then we're going to take a look at the pump that my wife ordered from fishpondaerator.com, directly from that website. It, too, looks exactly like the original Super Falls pump, and they used one of these boxes. Then, we're going to take a look at the third pump, okay? It's the second one we bought. I bought this one on eBay. There was a seller on eBay that said they had like four of them, and they showed a picture of a genuine Super Balls pump. Well, that's not what I got either. Let's go ahead and look at the original Super Falls pump, and I'll show you the defining characteristics, what you need to look for if you ever buy one of these, or if you've already bought one of these, because the guy on eBay is selling them like hotcakes right now. At $600 a piece. So just for a quick overview of the three pumps, this is the one that I ordered seven years ago. This is the one my wife ordered, which you can see is very different. Does not have the capacitor on top. This is the one I ordered off of eBay, which looks marginally similar. 
but is actually different. Pay no attention to the actual plastic parts here because I have this one turned for my particular application. So let's look at each pump individually. This is the original Super Vols pump. Now unfortunately all the data on the motor itself is missing because it's been in the ground for seven years and it just flaked off. But you can see it has the Super Falls uh, stamp here with the uh, serial number. And if you look over here, here you can see it's got the Super Falls sticker, which is a nice fancy little sticker with the pawnshop.com out of Washington State. And this is the original Super Falls 100% no problem motor. Quarter horsepower. 115 230 volt. Looking at the two side by side, this is the original. This is the one my wife bought me for my birthday. Does not have the capacitor on the outside. That's how I knew there was might be a problem. It looks very different. Let's look closer at the specs for this motor. First thing we're going to notice this says Super Falls 11,000 fishponeraerated.com. I will link that website. This sticker looks like someone printed it on their computer and glued it to the plastic. We're taking a closer look at the actual electric motor here. First thing you'll notice is that it is rated at one sixth horsepower or less. What we're going to look at is the volts. This is a 115 volt motor. However, if you look at the advertisement, you'll see that it is a 115 slash 230 volt. So if you were trying to run this off of 230 volts, like if you were running out of a shop or out in the farm somewhere, you could not use this motor. It is not as advertised. That's two things already. And the third thing we're going to look at is this. This is rated at 3.4 amps. It's inferior in the amperage, it's inferior in the volts, and it's inferior in the horsepower. This is also kind of skeevy, I think. This electric motor is for a water application, you know, a fish pond or whatever people are using it for. Now, it's not going to be submerged, but look at that cord right there. It's all like frayed and coming out. And if you look at the back, all the wires are exposed. And I just don't think it's probably a motor that would be good for a water application. Whereas if you look at the genuine Super Falls pump, you can see everything's protected dirty but protected. This last pump uh, was advertised on eBay as a Super Falls pump. Now when it came in, of course, it was just in a plain cardboard box stuffed full of peanuts. So I reached into the box and threw the peanuts, grabbed all the pumps and picked it up just like this. Now, this pump is featherweight. I can't believe how light it is. I went to eBay and looked, it's supposed to weigh 16 pounds. It weighs nowhere near 16 pounds. It's one of the lightest pumps I've ever felt. That told me right away we were going to have a problem. And guess what? We had a problem. I mean, this is a big problem. This goes from just being deceitful to the customer to potentially causing fatalities. Let me show you. That's my opinion. Fatalities. Opinion. <laughs> so. Let's take a look at this one. You're going to like this. So let's take a look at the sticker on this motor. And again, the motor is the expensive part of this whole operation. This is why it costs $600. Okay, it is advertised on eBay by uh, Winky, W-I-N-K-Y, as a 115-230 volt motor. Now, you can see right here, this is the voltage, 115. I can already tell you, this is not as advertised. I can send it back without a problem. Okay. Then it's also advertised as being 3.6 amps. It's 3.6 amps right here. And uh, it says a quarter horsepower, it says a quarter horsepower, although I don't think they advertised it as a quarter horsepower in the eBay ad, although the original genuine Super Falls KJ11000 is a quarter horsepower pump. They also say it weighs 19 pounds, which it doesn't. So, what do you think about that? You notice anything weird about that label? Well, I certainly did. Look at this horsepower. It looks like someone printed out little numbers on their computer and glued them on top of this uh, sticker from the motor manufacturer. I don't know who did that, but that's the way it came to me. Now, I already took this razor blade and I cut this out on top to see what was underneath because I suspect it's not going to be a quarter horsepower. So I pulled it back like that and looky there. Someone has scratched out the number, but I believe this to be a one-eighth 
horsepower motor based on other information that I have been uh, I was able to find out. It may not be an eighth, but I think it is, and I think that's eight right there. Under the amps, 3.6 amps is over. Oh, looky there, they scratched that out too. Now, I think that's a six right there, but I think it's actually supposed to be a 1.6 amp motor. Now, now, the reason why this motor is so light is because it's a cheap little motor. What makes expensive a motor is the windings on the inside, the copper windings. All electric motors have these big bands of copper wires that go around that give it the power and the strength that it needs to run. This has very few. That's why it's so light. That's why they had to change the numbers. And that's how I knew they changed the numbers without even peeling those stupid things back. Is that dangerous? I don't know. I can't imagine that it's not dangerous. Is it illegal? I certainly hope so. And I'll cover that in our conclusion to this video, which we're almost to, but I'll show you one more thing. This eBay motor that I just showed you is uh, advertised as having a six foot cord that is obviously less than two feet. Well, two feet max. Also, check this out, which I find interesting. They have plastered on here, made in the USA. Which looks good, except it says right there, assembled in Mexico. Now, maybe you can put made in USA on an assembled in Mexico product. It doesn't seem right, but maybe it's legal. I don't know. I've contacted several federal agencies to report this situation because I'm very concerned about changing the motor specifications, especially, you know, the voltage and the amperage. About four or five days ago was the last time I heard from fishpondaerators.com. And that was when I said, I want my money back. And the weird thing about this is, and I can't get over this in my opinion, but if this is really about this trademark infringement, which it appears to be, it's huge fines and like a lot of prison time. We're talking like a decade in federal prison and millions of dollars in fines. So I don't know. Just glad it's not me. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And be careful if you buy one of these pumps.